After six years of being a professional athlete, this is the best everyday carry that I've come up with for riding around 15 hours of cycling a week in potentially some of the worst conditions after living in Wales. My everyday carry is split up into roughly three parts and I have the quick access parts and the slightly slower access parts with most of the tools and quick fixes for something like a puncture or repair. So starting with the quick access stuff, I've got this Bellroy phone wallet. It's a phone wallet, but it houses the majority of my like small tools and quick access stuff like a battery, Allen keys, chain breaker, and things like that. And sometimes I do put my phone in it just to keep it out of the really tough, like rainy conditions. But to be honest, it's mainly for the tool Day Saver that I picked up from Rides of Japan. It's pretty amazing. It has about, I think it's 18 different tools in it. I would highly recommend this. Uh, it's bailed me out a few times. And like I said, I keep it in the phone wallet because it's one of those things that I wanna be able to whip out really quickly. And likewise with the battery that I keep in there, like you don't wanna to have to fanny around putting that in and out of your saddlebag. So yeah, I keep that as really quick access. As well as some money, I found myself in the predicament a few times, more so abroad, and I usually keep the currency that I'm traveling in or riding in, uh, in the wallet, and just make sure that I've got that to hand just for snacks or top-ups of water or liquid or whatever it is, because not everywhere in the remote parts of uh, countries has contactless or Apple Pay or anything like that. So that's what I keep in here as well, as well as a card just in case my phone runs out of battery or anything and I need it for an emergency. Lastly, I keep my house keys in here, just on a little string. And that's useful because I always lose my keys in my back pocket. So if I just whack this out and then use that to get in the house if I need a wee at the end of a ride or anything like that, really quick access, I know where to find them and yeah. Really easy. Really quickly, 74% of you who watch this channel have not yet hit the subscribe button. So do me a favor, and if you have ever enjoyed the channel, hit it. The bigger the channel gets, the better the content, and hopefully the better insights and entertainment I can bring. Lastly, I, I tend to keep a little uh, microphone muff in that wallet as well, just in case it's really windy and I wanna do a little bit of recording on my phone and yeah, have the microphones with me for a little bit of content. Lastly, for the quick access stuff, I have this Silka Tactico pump. This is literally the best pump that I've ever used uh, for taking out on rides. Most of the time, you either have something that rips out the valve core or doesn't have a big enough air chamber. And this has the best combination of both. So it's got a massive chamber. It has a hose, which I always find is one of the best things for one of the pumps that you take out on a ride. And it has this quick release valve and you can just literally clip it on. I've used it a good few times uh, to pump up my tires, whether it be abroad or out on a ride. And it's really quick. Not only that, it's really well built. It's got a really good seal there so that no rust or anything is gonna happen if it does get a little bit wet. The only thing that I'd say about it is that it's a little bit weighty. So not the end of the world, more than happy to carry that in my back pocket uh, for quick access. Okay, moving on to the saddlebag. This is a Silka saddlebag with a bow dial uh, to strap it to the, the seat, underneath the seat. This is the best saddlebag I've ever used. And the reason being is that it's so compact, it's just the right size, it can fit in exactly the amount of things that I need within it. And it doesn't like flap around on the, uh, the back of the seat. It's really compact, it's really secure, just does its job well. It's waterproof so that my tools that I keep in there stay rust free. I've had so many issues with saddlebag bags in the past and I've gone through so many, they just either like break or uh, wear out or even wear out the components of my bike. Um, I've had a seat post rubbed down because the saddlebag has just rubbed against it and then a hole's been worn into the carbon and that was really dangerous. I ended up having a little bit of an accident with it. So I don't want that and I don't advise getting something that wobbles around at the back of the bike. But yeah, this is really secure, holds everything that I need within it. This is more so for the less quick access stuff. So obviously it's still quick to get out and use, but it's more so for the stuff that you would need for a repair and fixing a wheel and getting back on the road. So firstly, I have this True Tension tire lever. 
This is the best by far tyre lever that I've ever used for getting tyres on and off the bike or the wheel. It's so good because you can literally just use the full force, um, get it on the rim. Yeah, I would highly recommend this. It's really good. Potentially use it alongside another tyre lever as well, but have this in your saddlebag for all times, whether it be to use in the house or out on the road. It's quick and easy, especially if you've got cold hands. Now, I run tubeless on my bikes so that it has the potential to repair itself or seal itself if I do get a puncture. But on the off chance that I get a puncture that can't be repaired, I have a tube, just standard, like nothing special about that. I do have a gas canister, but to note, if you use a gas canister, it tends to freeze the sealant within uh, the tire itself. So you can use it, but just be aware of that. So I don't tend to use that that often. Instead, I use the Stans um, tire sealant. So you can stab this into the tire. It will, uh, you pull it out, it seals it from within, and then hopefully the sealant tends to then bond with that and repair a bigger gash than what would be able to be sealed by just the normal sealant if you're just riding along. So it, that, that, that's come from having a gash that didn't seal and I wanted something to repair it um, and I needed something else to repair it. Lastly, I do have a little breaker for the gas canister. This is really solid. I think it's a lifeline one. I'm not 100% sure. I picked it up at a race once, but it's really good, um, really solid. It has the open close thing, which I think mitigates a little bit of like the guesswork with the gas canisters because sometimes I'm a little bit wary of it. It's quite high pressure. I don't particularly like using gas canisters. So what I tend to use them for is chucking them at people who do get a puncture and hoping that they can fix it far quicker with the breaker and the gas canister because I tend to, again, use the uh, mini pump and the tube or stands uh, for repairing a puncture because again, the gas tends to freeze the sealant. But anyway, that's my full everyday carry for cycling. It's the best combination of stuff in terms of being as minimalistic, but also fixing all problems and having quick access and not so quick access at the same time. If you have any recommendations on what I could add or take away from this, just drop it in the comments below and anything else that you can find in the description below uh, for additional things that I take on the bike. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.